It's true, I'm here. How's it going, everyone? I need to manage my windows better. Well, congratulations on waking up. I'm real, it's true. I've breached my way into the regular, like, living realm. It's true, I'm real. Check out how real I can get. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I haven't actually logged in today. Why not keep it on? Um, because then I'd have to come up with an excuse for when my voice sounds fine through it. And I'm not writing that much yet. Plus, you know, math movements. They're neat. Let's see what let's see what dual lives have to offer before we jump in. I just realized this is Yu-Gi-Oh. I can't go back. <laughs> Listen, you gotta come back. It's it's the only way. It's Master Duel is out. There's no escape. You gotta come back. Immediate Pot of Prosperity. Oh, God. Oh, this is Drytrons. This is fucking Drytrons. Oh, no. It's time for all the regular Drytron bullshit. I'm having to, like, keep my arm out at, like, next to my stream deck. Yeah, Union Carrier, let's fucking go! This is just evil. 
Yeah, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. It's this and Eldritch, get used to it. There he is. Who would win? 20 procs or one disco boy? Unfortunately, it's the disco boy. Versus Dogmatic, yeah. That's... Get used to it. This is Drytrons! I may actually want to put my stream deck on my left. Let me see if I can't arrange that. We're gonna do some fancy footwork here, folks. Eh. Does the cable go far? No, oh, because the cable goes into the front of my computer, so I actually don't have any room at all to move it. So I'm actually just being silly. You hate to see it. Artifact Lancia? Why? Lan Why are they running Lancia on Dogmatica? I don't even remember what Lancia does. Um. Uh, I wish the game would let me look. Isn't this track from a Sonic game? Um, this is from Persona 5 Dancing, actually. Because, you know, the music was so good. Yeah, Sonic game. <laughs> it might as well be a Sonic game. There can be only one. Oh no. The virtual monster would die to Kapakapu with armory arm. Do you want me to show that deck off? I have it built in the game. It'll look great, I promise. No. Well, now you're just... Come on, it took so long. The only dancing game I'll accept is 4. Yeah. The thing is, that's the only one that had consistently good remixes. The ones in 3 and 5 are either very good or very bad. Mostly very bad. I, I hope... I hope you appreciate my use of the expressions. I don't know if you're paying much attention, but... I'm trying to use them to my benefit. Anyways, that was a dry drawing game, folks. It was so entertaining. It was a fucking sequel tire of mess that we spent two hours on before realizing we needed to fucking sleep. But that's what makes it good. Let's go grab those five gems. Yeah! One day I'll be able to afford a ten pull. Oh yeah, baby. I'm, I'm gonna show it off. I even gave it like- <laughs> I gave it a deck box and everything. So this is... It's a gotcha game on top of it. How did... How did you expect this game to be run? It's a card game. I knew it existed and that was it. Yeah, that's fair. What is Yu-Gi-Oh! if not a game about poor decisions made in an altered state of mind? Exactly. But yes, Val, this is... This is a... Yeah, card games have card packs, exactly. If you want free Yu-Gi-Oh!, you can play, like, Project Ignis or something, but that has no users. Anyways, uh, this is- this is our shit-ass deck that we made, like, 5 a.m. It centers around Earthbound Immortal Kapakapu. Um... On its own... 
like, past all the restrictions that make it, uh, fucking die. It's honestly not that bad. I'm a simple thing, I just play Persona 5 at 4 in the morning. Listen. Well, this is quite the stream to join to, yeah. Um, basically, the thing we're looking at here on Kapakapu is that if it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. That's before modify, like, anything. And then, what we do with our boy Kapakapu is we look at Armory Arm. This right here is Armory Arm. What Armory Arm does is we can equip it to any monster on our field. And it gains a thousand attack, and if, a, it, de if it destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, it inflicts damage equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. So... It... It, it does their original attack to them twice, on top of piercing defense damage. Or it doesn't do piercing. It doesn't do piercing, it just does their attack times two, and then also whatever Kapakapu does. If it pops a monster with 4k attack, they just die. Yeah, they do. It's true. Like, literally, if they trade, if they trade with a 4k, it just dies. The, the other player just loses. It's great. It is so fucking great. Anyways, I don't have, like, half the cards I need for it, so... Instead, we're just gonna play the video game. Exhibition ended. I don't have Max C? No. I don't have Max C. I do have self-respect. All right, time to brick. Rat drug. Oh yeah, baby. Let me go first. Let me brick. Let me brick. It'll be so funny and not at all annoying. Never mind. This is quite. This is quite the opposite of a brick, actually. Let's see. Uh, hmm. I wish I had a Rose Girl. Right now, there isn't a way for me to get Immortality on the field. Um, I could just gun it for Alistair, since I have an Evil Thorn in my hand. Um... I think I'm just gonna risk it. Go on, Ash Blossom me! The thing is, I do just die by this play, but like, you know, it happens. This is the wonder of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah! I'm wondering if I should replace the soundtracks I have with the ones that they just released. Um, that is... They're playing Light Sworn? Why? Now they just trade. But I... Ooh. Officially, US release probably has better metadata. Yeah. It, d it would have all of the names in English instead of in Japanese. And now they're reading my card. Just end your turn. Alright. 
Breaking even is quite honestly the opposite of, of where I want to be. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon a Lone Fire Blossom. And I'm going to tribute it for Laurel. And then I'm going to use Aroma Seraphy Jasmine to tribute Laurel. For Marjoram. That lets me do that. Hello, Seth. Ooh. They didn't have a quick effect before. Bottomless Trap Hole. Fuck. That's not good. I will grab Jasmine, I guess. Well, that sucks ass. Um, this card attacks an opponent's monster against an attack and their stuff. Um, simply set Angelica. I mean, the best I can do is put it in and pull it back out. Um, that would let me pull out Alk if I really wanted to, but I don't. Can I can special summon Marjoram. Oh shit, you're right. Um, well, time to trade. Just kidding, I don't get traded at all! Sometimes I make good plays. Not all the time, though. Goose and fucking... Lightsworn Sanctuary. Oh, they like, they recycle from Graveyard. I aspire to be the absolute menace that's my Sneasel avatar and tails. Ooh. Become threatening. Be a threat. Just like me. The goose and fucking is on the poop and shirtin. Possibly. I don't know that much about animals. Um, so I'm not gonna let that happen again, actually. I'm not gonna lose health. That was quite possibly the worst use of Effect Veiler I've ever done. You only throw those comically large boobs of yours? Maybe. They can be used as weapons. But only if I really want to. It would hurt. Prove it? No. Battle phase. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think they forgot that they got effect bailered. I'm not complaining. All right, now we bring this back. Yes. So my other Marjoram is in the graveyard. This is going to be, uh, yeah. This is kind of a bad use of my other Marjoram, but... That's about the best I can do. At least give me a little bit of a better... A little bit of a better LP lead here. Finish these Nuts of the Shadow Realm. 
No, we watched the sub. You literally just fucking die. Did the tribute Alistair with ASJ? Next turn. Realm of Light. I see. Speak for yourself, I watched the dub. Um, I watched the sub. Invocation in hand, oh baby. All right, here's what we're doing. Activate, uh, they don't have a quick effect in response. I do this. I pull out Angelica. Give me a Blessed Winds. No. You get set. Man, you already used your tribute. GPA video is based, yes. Um, that's asking to activate Angelica. I don't have a reason to do that yet. We're just gonna do invocation. Is there anything in their, in their graveyard I can use to be funny? I can use one there to get my combo. So I'm going to use you and you. Then I activate Invocation. Alistair gets to come back to my hand. And now I punch. Punch real good. That's fine. That's lethal. Um, unfortunately, your mother. Um, you. Yeah, nice try, buddy. I win. And now they don't have any other quick effects. Yep, I win. We take those. Yeah, baby. Now that's what I'm talking about. Next meme. What do we got? Lucho. Borlo dragon. Or whatever the fuck this is. Some kind of cyber dragon. It's not the cyber dragon, but it's something. I'd rather look at that than a Cyber Dragon. I never want to look at Cyber Dragons. You just simply found, found a mortal player in ranked? God, imagine. Once again, uh, not able to start out here, but I'll do this at least. Watch, they drew into Ash Blossom. They did not. Or Maxi, for that matter. Turn one, link two, baby. Now I end my turn. Uh, I want to start with Evil Thorn and Laurel. That way I can do the funny combo. One day, one day they'll give it to me. Right, clipboard. Black wings. Am I about to get anime comboed? I, th I think I'm about to get anime comboed. 
I'm gonna be real. Oh, they are just going to punch straight through me. This isn't good. Oh! Oh, they just get to punch me three times. Uh-oh. Um, I can do this at least. I don't have the LP lead, so this doesn't protect me from battle damage, but... This is not good. Did they already punch me with their biggest number? They did! Okay. Okay. This is ASM next turn. I do have Jet Synchron. Ooh. Is that a fusion? Oh, that's a Synchro. Assault Blackwing. Must be turning to Kaiser Oh! Oh, I Oh, so they just get to re-equip that and then also destroy my Marjoram, actually. So actually, my board is empty. My board is empty right now. So... Bullish Burial doesn't really help me here. I'm gonna be real. I'll do it anyway. Time to get negated. Um, I can pull out a jet sink for three. Uh, That's still ASM? It sure is, huh? Listen, we take those. So what we do is we use the effect of Bless Winds to heal next turn and destroy that shit. The thing is, since my LP is lower, I can still be targeted by card effects. Mirror Fort- So actually what happens is I die this turn. Because I got top decked by Black Wing. Chicken ate a hit, it's fine. Oh, they just get Raigeki too. Wonderful. This is just going great, actually. This guy just top decked, like his life depended on it. Jesus Christ. Is that lethal? I think it is. Yes. It is very lethal. Whatever. Fucking anime comboed by Black Wings. Whatever.
Give me a better match, please. I'm getting all these coin flips, though. That's always nice. Um, shit hand for aromas, but great hand for invocations, so we're gonna fucking Ash Blossom me. I have drawn Blo Ash Blossom in every game so far. That's basically the only use Jasmine has in this deck, is as fodder for Makaba. We don't actually use her that often. She's just tribute fodder. We could honestly replace her with something if we really wanted to. Useful sometimes. The only time we actually use Jasmine on the field is as a D-draw. We, we don't use her in more in more situations than we do. Dark Beckoning Beast. Oh, they're running Lords. Wonderful. Um, so what if you didn't do that, actually? And that leaves... That leaves Mikado still open. The weakest Arrow Mage card. What, are we not counting Kananga? The very good card, Kananga? This girl's literally free discard fodder for Makaba. Yep. The weakest in this deck. Yeah. Kananga is some ass. Fuck, I don't even remember what Kananga does. That's how much I don't care. Is that a Link 1? Link Karibo. Give it a card. Lowers the enemy's attack and defense or something. Yeah, that sounds about right. By like a piss number. So they think Link Karibo is gonna be funny. Oh, I didn't draw good at all, actually. Um, what do they have in their discard? Dark. I could pull out Kaliga to be funny. I think I'm going to pull out Kaliga to be funny. Again, LP return a spell or trap to the hand. You can get Og and Makaba. Hmm. I could get Og and Makaba. That is true. I would have to break the fusion loop, but whatever. So Link Revo goes bye bye. Um, simply just try Alistair to boost Dog's attack first. I know. I know, but I can't pull him out of the graveyard again with Invocation this turn. Surprise! I had a second one the whole time. Ugh. Jasmine. Alistair. But so here's what I think of your stupid little dark beckoning beast. Mm. 
No defense! Okay, sure. And yeah, that's about right. What are those trap cards then? I'm still worried my entire field is gonna get cleared out by Regeki or something. They s they set Pot of Duality. Why? Why the fuck, Monster Reborn? Do it. Swing Dragon of Raw. Yeah. I forget what Raw even does. Chaos Summoning Beast. Oh! Uh, so what if no, actually? You don't get to do that, actually. What if- they're just gonna, like, do another one. Nope. <laughs> I- I cucked them out of their only play. This is how I win. This is how I win. So now I do this. Um, you come out, Alistair. That spell of trap isn't mirror force. No, it sure isn't. Oh, uh, what's the highest number I have? I could get rid of Og, but like that's whatever. I'll just give it all to. I'll give this to Og, whatever. And I'll kill him with Makaba. <laughs> now that's how you win a game! Why is my player thinking of Domino? What, my mate up there? That is a Clyfort Monolith. Oh yeah, give me my dailies. Yes! Is that all of them? No. I have to activate more traps, which is not easy for me, because I only have one trap card in this entire deck. Monolith, is that how they played dominoes in the Dark Ages? <laughs> They're just fucking knocking out giant chunks of stone to play dominoes. Uh, this is the wrong... No, that is the right menu. Let's see... I just need to open up anything to show you the card. That's the company that made XCX! No, that's model of soft. This model is hard. Um. Boy. Sword. Monolith. Yeah, see, it's a card. It's so dumb that you have a deck limit. Why not just have unlimited decks? You know exactly why. You've seen the man who proved his point. Oh, you mean like deck limits in the deck builder. Yeah, no, that's stupid, and I hate it. It's so dumb. Yeah, no. I got it, I'm just a little bit dumb. <laughs> Listen, that 2,000 card deck was funny, though. Clyfort.exe. These Clyforts are running on fucking windows. Imagine. Ugh. These are only in the Monarch Secret Pack. Or whatever the fuck that is. Element Savers. Earthbounds! Don't have a Secret Pack. Wait, yes they do! Then why the fu- What?! Okay. What the hell? I know Max C doesn't have any. Do you reckon one of those old Yu-Gi-Oh games, like, before they added a limit, would actually have- let you have a 2,000 card deck? Earthbound, I love that game. Listen. Earthbound is everyone's favorite Undertale. I gotta figure out where to get armory arm as well. Scrap iron soldiers. Uh, I don't have anything I can decon now.
I want to keep Cactus Bouncer. Right, Cactus Bouncer is funny. Playing another give one guy time to make take two thousand fucking cards to a tournament. In color. It's so fucking dumb. I use Peary Rays now for Exodia. Man, I wish I had pancakes right now. Listen. Sometimes you just need pancakes. There are so many things. I have so many cards and I want to decon none of them. I could decon tellers, but like. I don't know how to cook, Lunkus. I'm a programmer. <laughs> That's one way to put it. That's why I only like macaroni. Listen, she does cook. I can confirm this much. I why do I have F0? What? I nearly blew myself up with cooking oil once. Is it because you tried to put it out with water? That's a Tokyo Ghoul reference, I think. Maybe. Keep pushing again. I know something uses. Doesn't Exodia use tellers or something? No, it doesn't. What am I saying? Of course it doesn't. Artifacts is what uses. Just like oil and gas, though. Instead, like Pleiades. And then the Stellar Knight and Star, I meant. That's it. I could decon all of my Teller shit if I really wanted to. It wasn't on purpose. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna delete my Teller decks, they serve their purpose. Lesson. I appreciate it, but I I've grown past you, Teller Knights. Caduceus, I think. Caduceus is the funny one. Yeah. Thank you. Teltero seems fine. I'll keep one. Keep one for good measure. Yeah! I can make one UR. I'll make one copy of Maxi. I can make five. I can make five SRs, Jesus. I'll make the three Earth Animals and then the Monarch Storm fourth. Actually, no, I'll make the three. I'll make three Armory Arms and then two Kapakafus. There we go. One free pull on Terra Firma Transcendence, baby. Surely this card has good support. Look everyone, gambling! Gambling!
Oh. Well, there's the last card of Kapaka food that I needed. Also, like, the one Earthbound Whirlwind we're running. Listen, it's just- it's just gotcha terminology. We still need to think about the extra deck, because it's a little bit, uh, barren. Doesn't have to have a lot, just enough. Yeah, the extra deck does in fact exist. Having a low extra deck protects it from things like Banquet of Millions. Yeah, I think that was the plan. Pretty sure Maxine that the house will not be set on fire and making a cake. I mean... It's not as likely to be caught on fire when all of us are together. I think. Maybe. I'm a dangerous person for all the wrong reasons. I'm a dangerous person. I don't know the reasons. I just am. Wait, I forgot. Earthbound Whirlwinds are rare. Also, dismantle all extras. Nothing. When I'm around the chance turns from about 60% chance to about 20%. Listen, any kind of balance is good. Do I have any Trap Heavy X? I don't have this. I'm trying to build two decks at once, Jesus Christ. Oh no wait, I did finish this one. No I didn't. I don't have Maxi. This is lying to me. This deck is a few. I could go for the gambling deck in ranked. Surely that'll end well. I will go make something to eat. Go make something to eat. Artifacts. Um, yeah, I'll just do the gambling deck. Surely this will end well. Jimbo! I'm currently making condensed milk. Oh, now I don't win the coin toss. This bodes well. And I'm probably going against a Dark Magician. Boy, I wonder. Forget the coin luck, look at this draw luck, hello? This is some good shit. This is where it matters, all right? If if I draw to like Sasuke Samurai number four, I am going to be just elated. When Barrel Dragon, their eternal soul. Pot of extravagance, I will take it. Hit me with it. They have an answer. I think it may just be a quick effect. Maxi? I mean, you're not gonna be able to use it. Sasuke Samurai number four, baby. All right, Dark Sanctuary. Another quick effect. Okay, so second coin toss. Set that. Twin Barrel Dragon, we're gonna do it. Pop the left one. Alright. Come on, buddy, I only have a 25% chance twice. 
Feel the spirit of the gambling. Ooh. It's okay, I have second coin toss. Unfortunate. Alright. And now I just hit them in the face. With no resistance. Okay, sure. As we all know, I actually save all of my coin flip luck for Dark Sanctuary. Because that's where it gets funny. What? Pass? Okay. Another time wizard. And I'll do it again! That's more like it. Infinite and permanence? Ooh. That's very nice. I could bring out Crazy Box, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna hit him in the face. Is that what their quick effect has been? No, they have another quick effect. Watch, they have another Maxi. Alright. Probably Continuous Trap. Yeah. Eternal Soul. Ugh. Lightning Storm. That was the wrong choice, my friend! What's that one card on the left? This is Dark Sanctuary. Another second coin toss in permanence is just better than effect failure. Yes! It is. Now I pull out Sasuke Samurai number four. Works on either turn. Yep. Works on either turn as a hand trap, and you can set it as a normal trap to negate everything in the column. Um. And now I punch you in the face of Sasuke Samurai. They are really holding out on that Continuous Trap. I don't know... I swear to god... If I see Reversal Quiz... I'm going to... I'm going to commit a crime. Oh, set one. Well, now you have my interest. Another lucky chance. Time wizard it. You right. You absolutely right. Lucky chance, alright. I'm gonna double or nothing. Time Wizard plus Sasuke is lethal, correct. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! These are the- these are the consequences you have to take sometimes. Alright, that's fine. That's so fine. This is why we have Dark Sanctuary, kids. Go on, flip summon. What are you doing? I just rolled a critical fail. Listen, it happens. This is why I keep a second time wizard in my back pocket. Their hand must be so bad. It has to be. Alright. This time we're going double or nothing on tails. Skill drain! That's fine. I'll attack until you're face down. Good job! I, I have now discovered that you're actually playing Blue Eyes. Because your dumbass didn't think I would try to punch into it with Time Wizard. 
I'm not afraid. How did the blue eyes brick? I don't know. Link one? Link one into Link Karibo. I'm... Why? Battle phase? What are you doing? Put stone in graveyard. That's true. I'm gonna flip up from Sun Blast just to be safe. That's fine. Now they have a blue eyes on the field. That is unfortunate. Um. Foolish burial goods. Ooh. I do like me some foolish burial goods. That's negated. So now I just punch in the Link Karibo and it's going to tribute itself anyway, so. Yeah. That's whatever. No. Expected. Can't, why can't- Fuck, wait a minute, why can't it? What? So now they pull out Blue Eyes Alt, and... Wait! Is this another Blue Eyes- Is this another Blue Eyes player that doesn't understand how skill drain works? Oh, please. Oh, pretty please. I mean, they're going to die to Dark Sanctuary, but... You know. Yeah, they're getting coin flipped to death. So I win. Drag Lubia. Negated. Why? You have skill drain. Oh, that's why. That's so fine. I, I coin flipped him to death. Congratulations, you've lost! What a game. What a game. Truly. This is the dark souls of gambling. Ignore Elden Ring. Ignore Elden Ring. What do you mean I'm gold three? I mean, that's enough to get me the thing. My mission. Concept stream. It's true. People are losing their shit over Elden Ring, but it sure is just another Souls-like. I don't know. I, I have been watching someone play it. I think it looks nice, but it sure does look like it plays like every other Dark Souls that isn't Sekiro. Sekiro was the only one that had anything different, I think. I'm saying this as someone who didn't play a Dark Souls game. And still hasn't, and, like, needs to, but... Where do all the Souls-like fans come from from all of a sudden? Uh, game journalism, that's where. Uh, what if you get banned? I played Code Vein. Unfortunately, that is not a proper Souls-like. It's almost a Souls-like, or it is a Souls-like, but it's not Dark Souls-y. It steals the gameplay formula of Dark Souls, but doesn't play to the same beats as Dark Souls. Let me tell you a little secret. Tell me, tell me this secret. There's nothing special about Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, bold words, combative words. games are good. Probably. I still need to play them. Let's see. Now that I've done my mission, I can go back to playing whatever I want. If I played Code Vein, you know about Souls Likes? Yeah. I guess that's true. I'm gonna play Artifacts.
Let's see. People are going to have so much fun playing against me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Ignition, Labrys, and Bagel Talk. Um. Okay. Looks like I'm going quote unquote first. Um. So we're gonna set Artifact Ignition. We're gonna set Heavy Storm Duster. We're gonna set Artifact Labrys. We're gonna set Bagel Talk. I can use Artifact Ignition on Bagel Talk to set the other one, and then I can pop. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And we'll be Galaxy Soldier. Whatever. All right. Guess what? It's still my turn. Artifact Ignition on Bagel Talk. Is that on the field? Um, that would be Scythe, please. Bagel Talk comes out. I don't use Heavy Storm Duster. Yes! This is how it's done. It was my turn the whole time. I regret putting Bagel Talk in attack position, but oh, virtual worlds. Oh no. Continuous spell. I could heavy storm duster that. I'm not going to. That is a normal spell. I'm not going to heavy storm duster just yet. Now I heavy storm duster. Link synchro deck. Um so what if both of your virtual world gates were gone? That's fine. Oh no! Yeah, you, you, you can't special summon, buddy. You can't special summon. Had to snap my jaw back into place. Wait, what? Oh, right, extra deck only. Um, I have some news for you. Oh, they can use Virtual Gate Chinglong to negate Scythe. They could, and in fact, they will. I know for a fact that they're going to. Wait. Bagel Tuck? Hello? What? Yeah, nice fucking synchro, guys. Galaxies, but you know what? We're gonna find out. Oh, that's a lot of XCs. Original attack. Camera. 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be funny. Dim Chimera Dragon. No, don't tribute summon. <laughs> Now I pull Vagal Talk out of my graveyard. Yoink. And now I have a big number. They're probably going to find a way to destroy it by card effect, but whatever. Oh, that's troubling. Actually, they just made the number not exist. Um... Maybe I shouldn't have been silly. Oops. Back, how's the gaming? I'm playing Artifacts and it's not going well. Yeah, nice monster. Um, anyway, I punch you in the face now. Yeah, the opponent's turn is just my turn. That gets negated. Can't wait for them to normal se What are you doing? I just win. I just win. Um... Whatever, I'll set it. I could have summoned the soldier, but whatever. Anyways, I win. I win. The power of artifacts. We're we're about an hour into the stream. Should I should I wear the mask for the other hour? I could put it on. Wear a mask. Let's say you the rest of chat. Seeing peeled from me go for too long. Mask time? Okay. Boop. Ta da! It looks so good. Now the only facial expression you'll get is through my eyes. <laughs> Alright. What other decks do I have? I could like Ghost Tricks in rank, but I don't want to die. Um, I don't own this deck. Don't tell Twitch staff what game those eye textures are from. Um, I won't. Wait, now that you're in the game files, you can just like pull out the actual ones. Yeah. 
thing is, you can just pull out a lot of things. Um... Do that at some point. Wonderful. Um... By the way, um... Shoutouts to Max for making all of this work from the... Uh... First off, doing the model in v -Roid, And then digging into Fatal Bullet and finding this mask and figuring out how to put it onto the model in a way that I can toggle it. So, thank you very much. I appreciate everything. I'm wondering- hold on, let me open VC2. Or sorry, VC face. Excuse me. Um, I have vert prevent vertical head movement turned on. What if I turn it off? Whoa! I'm, I'm just worried about, like, the upper body movement. I don't know if it's too much. It's fine. I also have, uh, manual eyebrow movement turned off. Right! One of the reasons I turned off uh, vertical head movement is that whenever I talk it makes her slide down slightly and it's annoying me oh no it just does that anyway it just does that anyway when I'm talking what the fuck that's that's some bullshit okay so the answer is I don't care this game and we will see yeah true Turn on eyebrows. Let me enable eyebrows real quick. There we go. Windows G. Xbox eyebrows enable. The issue is when I scrunch my eyebrows, I think I'm trying to close my eyes. So. Yeah, it's fine. This'll work for now. Alright. Deck. I don't want to play artifacts anymore. <laughs> kind of depressing. Um, I'll just go back to Roma Invoked. I put this deck on YGO Pro. You play them once in one and you're done with them? Yes. Listen, I take every dub that I can get. This doesn't smell like a dub at all. Except the Yu-Gi-Oh dub, listen. I, I would like to have the original plot intact. Instead of whatever the fuck four kids tried to do to it. Um, this hand isn't great. But I do have Nibiru. Doesn't matter. Sure, why not? Guess their hand was worse than mine. We take those. Much better. Now this is a much better hand.
Server settings just give Miko face droopy eyes. Listen. Were they not always like this? Trippier now, I think maybe it's just placebo. Maybe it's just that. I don't know. The, the, I guess the eyebrows can make them look droopier than they actually are. Plus, it, it might just be that you're paying attention to it now. Because these are just what the eyes look like normally. Wait. Yeah, the, the mask cupping the eyes might be part of it. Search Laurel before you get right Gekied. Oh yeah, that's true. I just wanted to see if they wanted to fill up their graveyard first. Perhaps not. The one thing... I want to change, or I guess not change, but like improve, or nurse burn? Well? Um, yeah, I can take it. I can take it. I'm not afraid. Wait. Hey, LP to summon from graveyard. No. No, this no, this actually just fucks me. I've I've made a mistake. Now their their effects can't go off. come back to my hand. They're going to chain all of those trap cards. So this is an OTK. No, it isn't. Right now, what I need to do... Okay, here's how I'm gonna be funny about it. Here's how I'm gonna be funny. They're thinking about it. I get knocked down to 500 here. Most certainly not ideal. And they get brought up to 7700, that's whatever. 
They can't activate that trap card because they use trap trick. So now what I do is I use invocation. I summon you. And I use Laurel and Jasmine. I should have tributed him first. I bluff I blundered that. That's fine. But Since that's an instantaneous effect, am I able to macabre it? Just before I screw myself over? Probably. Only one way to find out. The correct answer is no. Fuck. That sucked. I need a trap in hand to get a trap. That was a monster. Nurse is a monster. Yes. That is the thing, yes! That is the question I was asking in the first place. So, Nurse Burn just kind of fucks me over. That sucks. Alright, let's try that again. Now I use terraforming. I use terraforming and I get Makaba while I wait for either Lone Fire or Evil Thorn. Because otherwise, this is a very nice hand, but. It's a better opening than I could have gotten, but would have preferred something better. Right, the thing I was saying. Um, the, the one thing I would like to change about this model is the clothing. The, I'm playing against Eldritch. The hoodie is neat. I It would be neat if I could get the actual clothes on this, but that's a probably more complicated process that, than most of us would be willing to do. Um, so that doesn't happen, actually. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the Angelica. So, that Eldritch gets banished. No, it doesn't. So now they pull out Eldritch. Um, they pull out Eldritch and I sustain a thousand damage to the fucking face. Um... Effect Veiler... You don't get the attack boost. That did not work.
So actually we trade. I would much rather go card. I'd much rather lose card advantage than health advantage with this deck. Set? What? Rose girl. Um. Um. I'm gonna go put good luck. I'm. I'm trying my best. Dynamiscus! Jack's not- What the hell is this deck? That got banished, didn't it? Yep. So now... I simply cope. Piercing the darkness, what? What the hell is this person's deck? That is a tribute? Tribute set? What the fuck is this person doing? Jet Synchron. I am getting nothing here. Whatever, normal summon Laurel. I just want to know. Joker's Knight. Arcana Knights with Eldlich? Arcana Knights with Eldlich and Dynamiscus. What the fuck? Yep, this is Arcana Knight. This is Arcana Knights. What? It's Arcana Knights and I drew like ass. Which never helps. Yeah, I'm not listening to 7 Minutes of Ideal in the Real. So what happens here is I get whittled down to nothing. Fucking Arcana Knights, really? This is not lethal. Ow! What? It is lethal now! Fuck! No, it's not. I think I just saved myself. No, I didn't. I'm dead. What the fuck? Eldritch Arcana Knights. With Paleozoic Dynamiscus. What? I am just confused. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Are they gonna let me go first? Yep. We take those. Much better! Now this is a fucking hand. Alright. Now watch, they start with Ash Blossom. They do not, thank god. And back, welcome back.
Watch, they're not gonna start with Ash Blossom, but they're gonna start with Nibiru. I am gay, it's true. Banger song? Yes. Gen 4 has some good music. Now I search Angelica. This combo is consistent, by the way. You come out of the graveyard. You let me summon ASM. Little bless wins. Set that. And turn. Set that to on. Basic attack, and now I have basic immortality. Magicians. Sure. Oh no, I'm not a dark magician. He's the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. I am so fucking scared. Toons? Play the third card, Nibiru? I mean, I, I will if I can. They're running dark magician toons. Hello? Why? Why? Magical ma- What the fuck am I playing against? Why am I getting all the rogue decks tonight? Battle phase. Oh, I'm so scared. Uh, let me guess. Big number into small number? Yep. No. That's what I fucking thought. Terraforming. Now I pull this. Just to have something. Simply do not die. I am trying my hardest. Maxi. Um, let's see. They have a response they can make? I guess it's just the set card. Good news! Banish that. Banish that. Banish that. Hi, welcome back. How many random effects do these cards have now? I've been getting back to the Paladins with my wife, and I'm starting to think it's way better than Overwatch. That's because it is, actually. The thing is, Paladins is just a lot better than Overwatch. Right! That resolved last, damn it. Um...
Let's see. I could do... I don't have a way to get... Okay. A level 2. I would need a level 2 tuner. I'll grab... I'll grab Laurel. Because I haven't normal summoned yet. Um... Shit. I could I could normal summon Nibiru, which would be funny, but um, what else do you have? Earth type, Galaga, no. It's the song. It's true. This is the song. Ugh. Let's see what they do. And now I get to search Angelica. How are you gaming so far? I am. Bloodborne 2. Ah. Uh, come man. I, I'm gaming- this game I'm playing pretty well, I think. They're searching something. Secrets of Dark Magic. I haven't had the clipboard up this entire game. Oops. Whatever. Magical Mallet can stay there. That was a misclick. Um. I am getting rid of this set trap card. It is just a quick effect. I know I could destroy Toon Kingdom at this point. Oh boy, a fusion summon. I sure don't care. You'll never see it come, man. It's impossible. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Can that target spells to try to control the card effects? Also, looking to destroy better opponent's card effects. Interesting. Where do I have my graveyard? Um, Everyone on my left feet is playing Elden Ring. The cello who's playing Gale of Darkness. And me. Let's just summon one Dark Witch. Hello? Have you not read my cards? I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think they've read my cards. I don't think they read my cards. You're trying so hard. Unfortunately, your last chance at mercy has now run the fuck out. Foolish burial? Sure. I'll do that, why not? Um, I want to send... Let's go to the graveyard. They activated it during their turn, so they can't even use their final soul this turn. Um... So here's what I'm gonna do real quick. Where, where is, where is 
might just be the backside of TV. Remix. So we're gonna banish all of that. They are actually running tunes. Our condition carry win. Um, so I'm gonna fucking pop him. And then I'll do this, might as well. Give some extra health. Prepare to watch Poetry in Motion, my friends! Did not get destroyed. Right, unaffected by your phone card effects. So these two are saving each other. Incredible on Fire Blossom just can't use the same way to add a song to the stream queue. Uh, I would have to do it manually. Getting rid of Marjoram here. Outlaw. You pull out our friends. Synchron. Um. First guy, Synchron's on it here. Now, if I am so inclined, I could also make Calica, but I don't fucking want to, so... That's fine. And that's fine. All of these are whatever. I'll do this real quick. Why are they going to pull Eternal's Soul Servant? I guess place a card on top of the deck, whatever. Ooh, no, your deck works is still so complicated. Listen. That's just the story of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh no, not Dark Magical Circle. So you I want you to. I cannot target that. Why? Right, this only targets monsters. No, why can't I target this? Right, because of you, and I can't, whatever, okay. Unfortunate. It's okay though, this doesn't stop our major plays. Oh, Do that just yet. Yes, now we do this. We do not miss the activation timing. Yes. And then we chain it with itself. And that's a shooting quasar dragon, my friend. The monster cannot attack so it's effect negated. Ooh. Check this shit out. So Rose Girl gets to come out. 
And now Old Entity of Store gets to come out and be equipped to him, so now his effects are negated. So you don't get to do that. This is the fun part of the game, where everything goes right for me and nobody else. And they wasted their only attack because they can't read. This is going great. Fire Blossom, okay. You come right back out. I'm going to use my normal summon to pull out Marjoram. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh players don't read. Uh, a lot of them don't. Shocking, I know. Um, It is unfortunate that I have to do this, but... Right! I get to attack multiple times. Now they're going to use Eternal Soul. And try and special summon from their graveyard. However, that's not allowed. You go play a super absorb the card effects into their mind. There is just a longa about a kid doing that. So now I win. Easy game. Oh yeah, baby. A secret mission has appeared. Don't mind if I do. What do we got? Equip a card. Show up! <laughs> That's one hell of a title. Alright, let's go pull all of these legacy packs. Because I have a few. I have 26. Good lord. Skip. Peeking Goblin! Brain Hazard? Oh my. So many cards that don't matter. Um... Uh, SR, SR that doesn't matter. Suijin? You can use the same card on multiple decks if you have, literally have a limited- Oh, you can- no, you can use them on, on, on as many decks as you want. The game is not that stupid, fortunately. Anyways, that was poop shit and garbage. Um... I feel like it shouldn't take that long to get all 2,000 cards. Um, Max, this game has uh, 10,000 cards. This game has 10,000 cards at varying rarities. They very much do not want you collecting all of them. Well, I mean, it would be good for their wallets if they did, but... For all intents and purposes, you are not meant to collect all of them. Yeah, that's that's kind of what happens when you release cards for, like, 20 years. You, you kind of get a few of them.
Ten thousand cards that all sort of interact with each other. Yeah. This is so much more complex than Pokemon. Yeah. The Pokemon TCG is a little bit expansive, but like not too terribly expansive. What do we got? This is Exodia. Ooh. Immediate Ash Blossom, you hate to see it. A lot of duality. Yep. One day of peace. Upstart Goblin, yeah. I gotta be honest, if that Pokemon TCG was just about numbers and elements, uh, that's because it kind of is. Um, I played the TCG for the longest time. Um, it's kind of basically just a numbers game, but there are some extra effects you can toss in if you really want to. Anyways, Exodia versus Evil Twins? my phone going off in my lap. I remember this one build I haven't ducked with a De Hell yeah, Deoxys is very good and I love it. Is this an Exodia deck? Yes. Um, the person whose perspective we are viewing it from is an Exodia deck, but they're kind of getting their entire shit run by this Evil Twin deck. Unchained Abomination is funny. Oh, that is quite possibly the worst draw they could have gotten. I feel like everyone cares about Pokemon cards, but nobody puts value in Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, no, Yu-Gi-Oh cards still get way too fucking expensive. Anyways, this Exodia player just fucking dies. Um... Unchained Abomination is funny. Yeah, Exodia player's just given up. We're just doing some dual lives and then we're gonna end the stream. Yeah, my drink is all watered down by now. Oh boy, Tri Brigades, wonderful. Unexpected die? That's one way to get a monster on the field. The thing about Yu Gi Oh! is people don't scalp Yu Gi Oh! at least as much as Pokemon. The reason why Pokemon go cards get so exorbitantly expensive is, is because people make a ton of media about them being exorbitantly expensive and then you get headasses like Jake and Logan Paul who spend way too much money on the cards and they're like, I spent this much money on the card, holy shit! And it's like, it doesn't matter. But people see these and they're like, oh my god, Pokemon cards are so valuable! And so... You have headasses storming stores and all that just to buy cards and sell packs on eBay for like 10 times the price. Yeah, artificial inflation, that's what it is. It's just artificial inflation because people can't shut the fuck up about the inflation. It's a self-perpetuating cycle. It kind of sucks. Because as, as someone who just gets back into the TCG every now and then, I like buying cards and then... I go and there's like nothing in stores. This is why we buy stuff at our local shops, kids. 
because usually they have stuff and the people there are way friendlier. Plus it supports local business and all that shit. Always support mom and pop shops, like to the best degree you can. Anyways, um, I sure haven't been paying attention to this game. Oh, it's Double Tri Brigade, I don't care. Some local shops totally just set prices to whatever is on eBay, though. Yeah. Uh, that- those are shops that are not worth their salt. The thing is, I- I don't know how like, businesses work when it comes to buying trading cards from the manufacturer, but I imagine that they buy the pa the packs for pennies on the dime and then they resell them to the consumer and then eventually they have to pay the company back in some fashion. Like, they have to have contracts with these companies. So... Like, there's really no incentive to just set it to whatever's on eBay unless you don't know how to price the cards, but there's also MSRP, which does it for you. So, honestly, uh, any, like, card place that prices based on eBay prices is just a fucking scam. I'm talking about resold used stuff? Yeah. The thing is, that that's the thing. When other people see the prices on eBay when they're going to sell the things they don't want anymore. Mabus, with a rate of two, hello. Um, thank you for coming. When people see the prices of Pokemon cards on eBay when they're just trying to get rid of them and they see, oh wow, these prices are really high. I need to do something about that. Then they just also set their prices super high and it just perpetuates the cycle of all of this shit being overpriced. see something ridiculously expensive on eBay and then they put it up and don't care that it never sells. Yeah. Because it it's literally gambler's fallacy. They're just like, oh, but what if it sells for that amount, though? Because, you know, everyone else is listing, for, listing it for that price. And then it never sells because nobody's actually paying these prices. It's, it's the same thing for NFTs, except NFTs cause a lot more money laundering and a lot more damage to the environment. Eventually someone will buy my bent hollow Charizard. <laughs> Listen, it'll happen eventually. Just keep it on eBay and like, you know, maybe every few months to lower the price by a dollar. It'll happen eventually. <laughs> Negate attack? That's just Battle Fader as a trap card, hello? Um, I need to find a good place to buy broken Nintendo consoles. I feel like I could probably cannibalize parts for a broken one for cheaper than just buying up the marked up price. Yeah. The thing is, there are probably, like, instructions online on how to fix certain issues with old consoles. If you want to see someone just fix consoles, I, I, I implore you to look up Odd Tinkering on YouTube. Because the guy just, like, fixes random shit and says nothing the entire time and it's it's like eye it's like eye candy it's so good anyways is this person playing raw utopias it would seem so yeah this person playing zexel zexel versus dd oh negated Unfortunate. They do have Inferno Tempest. They do have two Inferno Tempest. They're setting all of them? Watch my mate Vince, he does this stuff pretty much to get into intuition, guessing. The guy's broken stuff on eBay and tries to fix it with no prior knowledge. Jesus. That was Inoko and Yu Gi Oh! Um. Listen, I need I need a way to watch Greg's exploits, my mate Vince. That's one way to name your channel. I saw, I saw Red Eyes, and for a second I thought it was Gren Maju and got excited. Fuck, maybe the other person's running Gren Maju. <laughs> Setting two dimensional fissures, Jesus. Summon skull.
Goodwill does not exist in Florida. I am just down the street from a Goodwill. It very much exists in Florida. A, it's the boy. Summon Skull. I don't think about him very often. Everyone's favorite early 2500 beat stick. Yeah, the thing is, Summon Skull used to be just the boss monster that wasn't Blue Eyes. Because it was 2500 for only one tribute, so value for money, or value for card advantage was pretty good. I think Goodwill's not insisted in Tampa, fair. I don't understand why this person is running Summon Skull. Stromberg?! Hold up! Golden Castle of Stromberg, hello? Yeah, this person is absolutely running Grand Maju. Oh my god. Grand Maju is so funny to me. I love it. So yeah, this player just dies. Yeah. Unfortunate. Good lord. It, card card game economics are just weird and interesting to study. It's neat. I think there's one other world. But... I'll do one more duel for the people. I don't want to leave the people who just raided high and dry. <laughs> there are two Googles in Tampa. Google US301 and hit Google Pillsboro. Ooh. Empirical evidence. That's not how that's pronounced, is it? I'm going second. This is an alright hand for going second. If I draw into Laurel, I will be very happy. That or if I just get to use Nibiru at all. Let's see if this person wants to do anything. They don't seem to want to do anything. Doesn't make my head look good though. <laughs> I have to like twist my head to make it look straight on the camera. Oh! Oh, they've set one card. Imagine my shock. Final duel. I can take my mask off again. Womp. Hello. Please do something. Phantom Knights. Oh, God. Mm. Good job, buddy. Good and bigger number to beat over. Chat Synchron. Um, not great. I'm gonna be real.
How many of these do they activate immediately? Um, what do I send to the graveyard? I think I send Jet Synchron. Yes, 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 this works, this works, this works, okay. I made it work! I discard my other Jet Synchron! I made it work, it's okay. They're probably going to equip Evil Thorn with Fog Blade, if I'm gonna be real. They're gonna find a way to negate me out of this. This activates first, so actually they can't equip it with Fog Blade at all. These are just all quick effects. Look on Google Maps and it seems to be mostly clothes. Most goodwills are like that. They're mostly clothes and then like all of the electronics are shoved toward the back. Yeah, they're probably gonna fog blade Jasmine. So now they chain Fog Blade. Unless they're. Apparently, their set cards are just very bad, actually. And I am going to leave Ancient Cloak up. I gain nothing from killing it this turn, and it would just give them a free card. I'm just gonna leave it. But see, also, this is psychological warfare. This- this is smart. Because they think I don't attack into them because I don't want to trade. I would not have traded. I just would have not gained anything from that interaction. So this is actually big brain plays. Is that a fourth card? And now they don't Xy summon. Congratulations! That was probably the worst play you could have made. Never mind. I think that's a bluff, not psychological warfare. I mean, it's going to work. They're going to attack enemy. There it is! Big number on small number. Asking them if they want to use their... Trap cards right now. Yeah, nice try, buddy. That's an end phase right there, yeah. Why is the game even let you attack a monster like that when it obviously doesn't work? Uh... Oh, one for one. Oh, that is very good for me. I've had Nibiru this whole time. Oh, this is actually fucking genius.
one for one is spicy. Absolutely. That is what I fucking needed. One for one is just what I needed. Ooh, Metal Crusher. Um, one for one is just, uh, that was a fucking deed draw right there. Plus when comes out. And I haven't normal summoned, and I haven't used Jasmine's effect yet. So what I do is I set Blessed Winds, and then I normal summon Jasmine. They can't target me. And since I have another Marjoram in my deck, I just sack Jasmine, and I get my other Marjoram out, and that's a Aroma Immortality, baby! Yep. And now I attack. It's whatever, I can attack into them this turn. I mean, you can try flipping up a trap card. You won't be able to target me. They are really thinking about it. Yeah, you just take the L on that one. That card gains 500 attack, that's so fine. Assassin, if they want a quick effect, they want to use Phantom Knights of Club and Helm. Wait, you can banish this card, yeah. This is... I could pull out Angelica, I have no reason to right now. I'm going to end my turn, and then just... Card effect on. Target. Or one face up trap your opponent controls. That's fine. That is so fine. This is this is so in the bag. Shuffle on an eagle horn. There is no way they have imperm in this column, that's right. You get banished. That means I get an icon from banishing that. I am going to destroy one of their trap cards. Phantom Knights love their trap cards. whatever. Ooh. Ooh. Happy face gets to stay on. I'm feeling good. We got the fucking Master Duel music going, too. That gets to go to Brazil. And now I pull Laurel, and that's enough to get me shooting Quasar Dragon next turn. I just remembered someone tried to get me into Wagyu Pro once a very long time ago. How did that go? The thing about Wagyu Pro is that, um, Inceptionist VTuber arc is not something I, I, I mean, I've been sitting on this character for forever. I, I have been associated with this character since 2016, more or less. Or whenever the hell Fatal Bullet came out. Uh, I don't think I actually got into it, they just pestered me. 
It happens. And now you get me trying to get you into a dope myth with Master Duel, so... But, like, didn't expect you to stream as that character? I mean... It'll be a good... It'll be a waste of a perfectly good character that has been associated with this channel since forever. This does seem like a lot more game of a game. Yeah. Why'd you go pro as to Yu-Gi-Oh! what Showdown is to Pokemon? Like, it functions. It does everything it needs to do. But... It's not great. That's an Xyz Brick Sword. Ah, they're going to target Blessed Winds. That's so fine. I always felt like Showdown was in general better than in-game Pokemon battling. I mean... Game Freak is whack with in-game battling. The thing about Showdown is that battling is the only thing they have to focus on instead of having to design the rest of the game. So, the Showdown devs can get a, a, get a, like get away with just polishing the absolute hell out of, uh... Just polishing the absolute hell out of the battle system. But with something like YGO Pro, they're emulating the entire game. Because the game is the trading cards. They target blessed wins, that's whatever. Can't target my monsters! The good news is, I don't need Blessed Winds anymore. It has served its purpose. Gen 4 music is very good. Not gonna lie, seeing this model bobbing and talking is baller. Yeah. Like, it's honestly surreal seeing this. Like, I... Um... The, the way I have the model working right now is that the eyes just follow whichever direction the head is going. So you can't actually... You cannot actually see where I'm looking. My eyes are locked in the same place right now. But since I'm moving my head around, they look like they're moving. I've just been, like, staring at my face cam the entire time I'm not having to look at the game. And it's honest- it's honestly just surreal seeing Fumiko be, like, alive and shit. My eyes are up here, duelist! <laughs> oh yeah, I see you up there, hi! If I look over here, I can see you down in there, too. It's... It's still not going to work. Steam Synchron in hand? That is so fine. Because here's what happens now. Their trap card means jack shit.
And now, we do the shooting quasar shuffle, everyone. Thing is, even if they negate Crystron here, I still can just, like, place it from hand. Because I haven't normal summoned yet. Steam Synchron looks neat. I like him. You can see his little eyes up here. That's asking me for a Jet Synchron. I don't care. So now I summon Old Entity of Store. Same as it ever was. And, since that sent Laurel to Graveyard, I can destroy their last trap card. I can get rid of that one quick effect that has just been staring me down this entire time. Blade. I mean, <laughs> what are you going to do? It, it doesn't mean much, whatever you attach it to. Like, these are effect monsters, but this is getting destroyed. Tonk. I'm going to save Angelica first, hold up. No traps for you, yeah. I don't want Phantom Knights to be having any traps, are you kidding me? That's still Jet Synchron, alright. That can't be hit by anything, so I'm just going to end turn. Set that to on. Fogblade got banished. Oh my god. They don't know. They don't know. Oh no, not Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Go ahead, draw your last pathetic fucking card. Yeah, nice Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Um, I'm going to get rid of it now. And you can't counter it. To the vantage zone it goes. Um, I am going to grab for this girl, because why not? No fun allowed. Listen. Animites, they're on my shit list. I'm telling you. It's this and Fairy Drytrons. I hate them so much. I understand. I hope so. Do I go back to resting bitch face? But I don't think I do. I'm 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 feeling the smile right now. I think I deserve it. Fumiko gets a little of happiness as a treat. Because I, I, I have a very dumb grin on my face. Go on, play a card. 
<laughs> oh, this is sad. And that was a mistake, my friend! Out comes Formula Synchron! Do that! Chain it with itself! Out comes Shooting Quasar Dragon! Hello! And I draw a card. Rose Girl comes out. That has no on-field effects. Oh, yes. Versus Deoxys. That is an Xyz. Oh, that's clever. Raiders Knight. Oh, wait, no, this doesn't matter. I mean... I'm just gonna affect Baylor in, I'm gonna be real. Yeah, you don't even get- you don't even get the shooting Quasar Dragon negate. That's fine. Oh no, one set card. Battle phase, they're just going to... There's no way they punch Rose Girl. Okay, they can read. They can read. This much we know for sure. That or they just saw attack position, small number. Cloven Helm, they get to add whatever the fuck to their hand. That's fine. Are you sure? I mean, they are playing Phantom Knights, so maybe they can't read. Tomb Shield. Really? A normal trap monster? Why? I am betting my entire, like, everything that this is not Fogblade. Um, this is asking me to activate for Angelica. I would need a level 3 non-tuner, which I don't think I have in this deck. Are both of my marjorams in my graveyard? I believe so. That is correct. That is unfortunate.
The good news is, all I need is a big number. What's the biggest number I have in my deck? Um, that would be Rose Girl. So now I pull Rose Girl back to my hand. God, I have a lot of tuners and not a lot of anything else. Um, cancel. But actually, what I think I do is I normal summon Alistair and I be funny about it. you have in your graveyard deck shit. Alright, I'm gonna summon Purgatrio. Alright. This is lethal this turn, is the thing. Now I punch into this. They cannot proc that. All right. Yeah, I just win. Trio punch. Ooh. All right. I believe they have accepted fate. It is from the thing I just sent to the graveyard. I think. Alright. G fucking G. This is gaming. Oh yeah. And I got a normal monster. Ancient one of the deep forest, sure. Oh, yeah. Fucking incredible. Oh my god. Alright, let's get that mission. But I'm limited one, so it's gonna be like 50 gems. No! Treasure box mate! Okay. Sure. Alright. Wonderful. Hello. I'm on the big screen now. Thank you for coming. Yeah, that's... That was a fucking match. Big. I am big. I am in detail. Um, hold on. Do I still have the prop? I do. Nobody move. <laughs> Nobody move. You're in my stream now. <laughs> God, this is fun. All right, no more gun. Gun is gone. Ooh, I like this song. Okay. Listen, whether or not the gun is loaded is irrelevant. I'm looking at you down there. I see you. Thank you all for coming. That was a lot more fun, honestly, than I thought it was going to be. Um... I don't know if it was the VTuber or just the quality of the matches I was having or both, but this was honestly really fun. That was very cool. Thank you again for sorting all the shit out with this model, Max. <laughs> 
I appreciate your effort and I love you very much. <laughs> um, my, my final question to you all tonight, I'm gonna go back to the neutral expression for this. Do I go mask off or on for most of the time? Because like, she's known for mask on, but also I could have her mask off, you know? That's, that's just my getting the two cents of the people. One vote for a mask off. Mouth movement is nice. Yes, it is. I, I do like the mouth movement. It's just weird seeing her without her mask, though. <laughs> mouth movements are cool, but then again, the mask is also cool. My triumphant return. Hi, it's the end of the stream. Mask on when getting sweaty. Oh, that's that's a good one. I, I might steal that one. Mask on when getting sweaty. Absolutely. That's that's the try hard. That's the that's like how you know. Stream's over. It's about to be. I was I was just posing one final question to chat. Um whether or not to keep the mask off or on when using this model, but I've I've received the proposition of uh mask on, but only when you're sweating. When guys take off their shirt to fight. <laughs> Except in reverse. Listen, I gotta look epic if I'm going to, like... I have to look very cool if I'm going to kick someone's ass. I do like that idea, Mavis. I see you down there. I appreciate the suggestion. It's, it's very... Th this model is so fucking cool. It's, it's, like, still so surreal. If you're sweating, you're not gonna remember to put the mask on. It's okay, chat will remind me. <laughs> It's so surreal seeing this character that I've just had as a part of me for like uh, five, six years. Just like beat real. Healed Fumiko is better, greater than Mask Fumiko. I mean, yeah. The the, the mouth is nice. I, I I will attest to that. Peeled. <laughs> Chat will not remind you. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Who knows? <laughs> Hold on, I have another, I have another prop. To, like, scrape my face out. Yeah! Less than? Ah, oh, I see. Look at this. Yeah, I'm so cool. <laughs> I got the fucking swag glasses. I'm so 2010. It's great. Listen, sometimes you just need a little bit of epic swag. I can't believe I just said that out loud. I'm taking these off now. Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your input. I think I'm gonna steal Mavis's idea of just, like, putting on the mask when the time calls for it. Ooh. This music sounds like it calls for it. Yes! Look at that. I sure didn't mean to do it just for half a stream. It'd be like that. Um, what I can do is I can go back and save the replay. Or I, I can just show it to you, because I just fucking styled on a Phantom Nice player and it felt great. Um... But for now, that is going to be the end of the stream. Thank you all for coming. I hope you appreciated uh, this. I am absolutely going to use this more often. I am absolutely using this more. Thank you all for coming. Um, the stream was great. Mavis, thank you for the raid. Thank you for being here. Um. Yeah, that's it. I hope you all have a very good night. Thank you all for being here. Have a good night, everyone.